hi friends welcome to my channel and today in this video I am going to show you how to install D how to install and configure DSCP server on Windows Server 2016 so this is the fifth video of Windows Server 2016 tutorial so let's have some idea about my daemon environment and my daemon environment I am using two words a uh, two virtual machine as a domain controller which is win2k16 dc01 and win2k16 dc02 which we have installed previously in my uh, previous win uh, videos and you if you want to check out here's the machine this is win2k16 dc01 and this is win2k16 02 you can verify I have just installed Active Directory and DNS role on this machine from from local server you can verify the name win2k16 dc01 and my domain name and from dashboard you can verify Active Directory and DNS role is installed which we have installed in our previous window Windows Server 2016 tutorial videos and for dc02 you can verify the same so and I have one Windows 8 machine you can verify win 8 CL01 which is Windows 8 1.1 1 .1 Enterprise Edition virtual machine client machine so this this is all about the setup which we are going to use I'm going to install my DSCP role on win2k16 dc01 server so I'm going to click on manage add rule and features click next next my server selection next and I'm going to tick here DSCP server add required features yes add feature click next 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 and just go and install this is the very simple installation of the DSCP server just next next finish after once the DSCP server is finished we have to authorize DSCP server in our active directory and then we need to configure DSCP servers uh, like a scope options IP range and these things so once the installation is finished we will do the same so for the installation of DSCP servers server services it will take like one or two minutes to get the complete installation of DSCP server role you can see installation is started on our server which is win 2 16 dc one Installation is almost complete 50%. So the installation is succeed and configuration required. I'm going to click on complete DSCP configuration. It will pop up one window for DSCP post installation configuration wizard. At here we have to uh, specify DSCP server administrator account to authorize DSCP server on target computer if machine is joined to domain so this is my uh, domain uh, domain controller so we are good to go click next and I'm using my domain administrator account to authorize this server as a DSCP server in my domain so just click on commit so creating security group done authorizing DSCP server done we are go to go to create if you go to DSC dashboard you can verify DSCP role is installed and to configure DSCP server we have to go on tools DSCP mm, maximize it expand it DS, this is our DSCP server so I'm just going to click on DSCP V6 you can verify these things for DSCP oh, IPv6 also I'm going to create a new scope 
for IPv4 click on IPv4 option new scope and going to click on next my scope name I'm going to define LAN description my LAN network next and the starting IP address I'm going to define from 192.168.1.101 and my ending IP is just as like you can say 200 I'm going to use my default subject mask for class C IP address click next and for the excuse uh, executions I'm going to define my IP address 192.168.1.1 to 192.168.1. Dot you can say 120 so 20 address is executed from the IP lease so it can be configured on server or statically on any device like printer or anything else for lease duration I am going to leave it like 8 hours only click next configure DSCP scopes and do you want to configure DSCP option right now so yes I'm going to need to configure I'm going to define my router IP address so it can be assigned by DSCP server as well as my this is my parent domain name and DNS is already resolved so we are good to go we do not going to define wind server click next and the final activate scope do you want to activate the scope yes I want to activate this scope now so you can verify here we have a scope activated if you want to deactivate you can go and right click on deactivate scope as well as so I'm going to just so we are good to go if you go to address pool you can see our address pool exclude an address which is not going to distribute from IP address from DCP server so we are all done you can verify from here DSCP scope options these things if you want to add one more DSCP server you can do this as well as so I am going to put my secondary DNS IP address also so it's going to verify going to verify IP address for DNS okay we are good to go both DN DNS server is entries added to our scope option so now I'm going on my client machine network sharing and center just both machine my server and and my client machine on same network on the, you can say on same physical network or virtual network anything so I am going to disable it and just enable so you can verify it's connected to our DSCP server which is released by uh, IP release from 121 my subnet mask, my default gateway, my DSCP server which is my active directory host, uh, active directory domain controller, my both DNS server entry so everything is working fine you can find as well as my domain name victorinfosol.local here and from the address lease you can verify the same I'm going to refresh it you can verify all the details are listed here like my type DSCP type a boot TP whatever so it's my DSCP my MAC address these things and now I am going to join this machine in domain so click on change from system properties change my domain name I'm going to type my domain name my credential for joining machine in domain 
and my password welcome to victor local domain we have successfully added this machine in domain and you can verify the same from server manager tools active directory user since computers expand vector info soul under the computers you can verify here which machine we have just joined to domain so I'm going to move it to my respective OU under India under workstations so you can verify machine is moved to workstations so this is all, all about the DHCP server configuration, installation and configuration and the client machine oh, checking with the same IP, uh, getting IP address from our DHCP server and everything is working fine so hope you guys will enjoy my this video and thanks for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any question any query you can mail me on my given mail ID and thanks once again for watching bye bye